What is up theme park overload fans? It is Anthony here at Six Flags Great Adventure today. I'll be doing a small Joker review and a look at where the Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dark Ride can go. Let's go over to the Joker now. So I just got off of the Joker and it was a pretty good ride. I enjoyed it. I don't think it's in the top three at the park, like I hear some people saying. It's probably like my number five in the park, or maybe even number six. Um, it's very re-rideable, which is a good thing. Um, the restraints are very comfy, and um, that's a good part of the ride. Some bad things are it is pretty um, short. It's about around 25 seconds if you don't include the lift hill and capacity is a big issue here especially at a park that gets pretty crowded also the ride is pretty intense especially when you do those 360 degree flips and another cool thing that I have to mention is that the green side gives a different experience than the purple side I actually experienced more flips on the green side which I thought was pretty cool If you haven't heard already, Six Flags Great Adventure is most likely getting a Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dark Ride in 2017. This shows us that they are planning to build a 25,000 square foot structure. And that just screams Justice League Dark Ride. So I am currently back in the park and I'm going to go to the place where I think a Justice League Battle for Metropolis dark ride is most likely which is where the old Batman and Robin the Chiller used to be it is kind of far back here so I'm gonna go right to it so you don't get bored so we have reached a Trump wall but the good thing about this one is there's actually a way around it thanks to a catering entrance this is at a really dead part of the park so this is really the only way um, was it that was available that day? So let's go and do some more editing magic and go right to this site. So I am right by the location where I think the Justice League Battle for Metropolis dark ride will be. I think with that dark ride, we will see a nice big plaza with it, just like we saw with the Joker. It is just a perfect location for it, especially considering how dead this part of the park has been the last several years. And like always, remember to follow me on Instagram at Ride the Thrills, follow the whole team on Instagram at Theme Park Overload, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.